Okay. We're back. Sorry for the delay. Literally. Literally. The internet just died. For no reason. And it just. Like, even in my. Um, my computer's, like, internet, it was still saying we were connected. But when I came downstairs, I noticed that the router was not on. Like, there was lights missing, so. That's why it was not there. So, that was really freaking weird. Sometimes my cable company just does that. Or it just, it just randomly goes out. For no reason. I don't know why. And I don't know why my, my game has this... Like, doesn't have the, <laughs> like, the uh, resume, raise, restart, exit. Like, I don't know why that, but. Top of the line internet. Max payments per month on that. And I can barely get over three kilobytes. And that random stuff happens. Smash it like one. Well, to be fair, we already got to 50 in the other stream, so we're, we're good. We only have to try to get that goal. But we can always try to get this one, those numbers up on this one, too. So, yeah, weird issue, got it resolved, had to re disconnect and reconnect my, my, uh, my router, and do it again, so. Alright, we're back. Everything looks okay. So yeah, we got 20 laps remaining in the stage, we only have about a second and a half lead over Harvick, so, we're, we're doing alright. Kind of curious how many cars we can lap before the end of the stage, though. Because well, we're already up to 24th. Oh, if Day 500 is still here, if he's tuning in, or... Yeah, Day, uh, Chase is a snowflake this race. Maybe I'll save that when uh, he's actually here, but... Yeah, Chase became a snowflake in this race. He's not fast. Still there. And he is barely faster than Suarez, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I I was just I was gonna say at some point um, before I got interrupted by the internet. The uh, the fact we got to 50 on the on the stream was pretty damn insane, and I'm glad that uh, it got to that. So yeah, we'll definitely uh, after this race ends, we'll uh, we'll look at the Kurt car. We'll talk about it, and at some point, I'll have to do Irishman's Red Ball setup challenge. Whenever I finish Thunder 04 career mode. So that'll be at some point. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Got a car low now. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, car. Okay, car. You really wanted to show off your looseness to me, which I appreciate, but I don't want to see that again. Yeah, JC is in his peak form today. I just, I feel it. I get F122. I don't think I will. I just I have other I just too much other like stuff going on. So I don't think that's gonna happen. Do we do we get a 14th different winner? <laughs> um, it, I mean it might. You never know. This season's been weird. It could very well happen. Just brought a homemade turkey BLT on wheat. Yum. That's pretty awesome. You're very fortunate to have a husband do that. That's pretty cool. You're 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 <laughs> you're too lucky. But uh, yeah, we're we're doing fine. Arvik, I think, got destroyed by lap traffic. Because I was only a second and a half ahead of him, and now I'm just four. So something clearly happened. Ty Dillon. Don't make me go on a Ty Dillon rant. 
It's just hilarious he's out of a ride again. I'm glad Eric Jones is just showing that that equipment is possible and capable of being good. Well, helps that GMS is part of Petty now, but like, yeah, that's, you know, happy for him. I think, I think Eric Jones has, what, two top five, six top tens? Which last year he had zero top fives and six top tens, so he's already doing better than last year. Just based on those numbers alone. But then again, Eric Jones was always better than Ty Dillon by a pretty big margin. So, yeah. Now Logano takes over second. Uh oh. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that in my track thing. Harvick just like vanished. He was like dropping spots terribly. Everybody's pitting. Alright, well, we'll do our four tire stop now. I guess they're not going to do it at the end of the stage because we're going to be pretty close to the stage end. So I guess everybody else will stay out. I don't know. But we're going to pit, get our four tires. Hopefully they all do the same thing. Kevin Harvick better pit because it's going to look really stupid if he stays out. I'm up for Zane Smith getting the eight, but it might take too. It might be too soon for him to jump up in the cup, though. I don't know. I don't. I just don't want him to get into the equipment, and just not do anything. But we got out of first. You know, so everybody, uh, everybody got four tires. We're good. Eight laps to go in stage one. I don't know, 2024 is going to be weird just to kind of see just where that all ends up going. Because I really hope that doesn't mean Kurt's going to retire at the end of 2023. I really don't want that to happen. So I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Harvick is out of the race. <laughs> Harvick's out of the race. He was second. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that just makes our race even better. That was like the only car that was competitive with me. <laughs> that is horrible. From second place, too. That is just terrible luck. I miss Vault. Oh my god, don't... <laughs> I remember Vault! Jeez, that when I uh, when I got into bowling for the first time in uh, 2006, I remember it viv vividly. February 10th, 2006. Why do I remember that? I don't know. Five to go. Five to I just remember Speed Weeks really talking about that next week in particular because it was going to be the five-year anniversary of Earnhardt's death. And I remember in a lot of commercials they were could be talking about it on like race day 2018 so there's already like commercials and ads for it so i remember it was around that time and it was february 10th i don't know why i remember that but every time i went to bowling for those like first uh i i think every week every saturday i would always get a vault i don't know why i would but i did now it's just like the the weekly tradition. I would go to bowling on Sunday or Saturday morning, and I would get a vault, and I would get some fries. It was just a tradition for a couple of years there. It was kind of fun. I do miss vault though. Beat that left button like a badass six year old. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. That is a good way to put it. I like that. Me and me and me and me and Bumpy just hit like a like a universal like nerve. Like we just like our our brain waves crossed paths when we met, when we talked about Vault right there. That was amazing. Oh, what happened to my stream? It did just die. That was a 
I guess it was my internet's end because I was looking at my router downstairs and the lights weren't on. My PC was, or my computer was still showing like I was connected. But when I came downstairs, I saw that the, the lights weren't on. Or they were, they were yellow, so. Or orange. So I just kind of did the good old fashioned, you know, unplug it, plug it back in, and it worked. But we're about to wrap up stage one. Other than us taking about 30 laps to getting to, to first, we're going to win stage one. And I don't know what they're going to do after the fact. I'll take a, take a, a pretty simple stage stage dub. Cowbush gets 10th. Reddick 11th. Kurt is 15th. Jones 16th. Okay. Uh, nobody's pitting. But nobody's going to... I mean, everybody's got the pit in, at, in stage 2, so... Makes sense. <laughs> Kurt is 43 while he's still competitive in level. It all depends. It all depends on if 2023 Kurt doesn't win. If Kurt wins a race in that season, then I think he'll stay. Because Denny Hamlin said that they will keep Kurt as long as Kurt wants to keep racing. So, that's good. It's just that I think, uh, knowing Kurt, even though I don't know him, lot, I think Kurt will, if he wins in 2023, he will race in 2024. I think he will only retire if he just, he cannot win anymore. If he feels like he can't win, I think that's that's what's going to have to happen. So, it depends. So, yeah, Kurt's been in, in a weird spot where he hasn't, like, fallen apart as hardcore as, like, other drivers would at his age. Because he's still putting up okay numbers. Even though this season's he's actually statistically worse than his previous year. So, I don't know, but I, I think as long as Kurt can still win... Or he feels like he could still win and do stuff like that. I think he'll still keep racing. That's my guess. So I don't know. I have to wait and see. I hate. I, I mean, it's gonna happen eventually. I think. I think everybody knows that. But it's just when. When is the, the big thing. Kirk Bush is one of the unappreciated goats. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Hello, Felix. Appreciate everybody stopping by and uh, rejoining me after the, the stream died. So, I appreciate it. Maybe it does me a lot. So, I appreciate everybody uh, coming back. But yeah, like I was saying... 107 laps, uh, 75 in the field, so yeah, we'll definitely have to pit, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know how many people I lapped up to, I think it was like 22nd. So with more laps in this stage, and just, yeah, we should be able to lap, uh, we should be able to lap a good, good chunk of people. I really hope this does. I really hope this doesn't mean uh, Logano's gonna win because that's gonna really bug me. Where's Truex? Truex is a second and a half back, so this would be a Martin Truex type of track for him to just kind of win at. I don't know why. This unfortunately, Kirk could take his winning card. I mean, he could. Kirk could very well do that. Kurt is so bizarre. I don't know, it's just... <laughs> His career is turning into Ricky Rudd, and it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. It just gets a random win a year. And it's like, not even like a BS win, it's just like he's just competitive. <laughs> he just wins. It doesn't make any sense.
Yeah, I noticed that. It, it's, it's like, I remember the one year they did something where, oh yeah, they put Kyle Busch in like the Stanley car. I think it was an Infineon last year, and it just didn't look right. It just, it just didn't look right at all. Like those are that should be like a on like a NASCAR Twitter account page where it's like like cursed NASCAR NASCAR like images or something because <laughs> it just doesn't look right. So I was just thinking about this too. I was just thinking about this too. I don't know why I said that twice. But now that Kurt won at Kansas, do I does that mean I have to get his like race win Kansas car? I just I don't know. Like I really don't want to do that, but at the same time, the car that they did for Atlanta looked really freaking nice. And I don't know when it's going to be Kurt's last win, so that could be Kurt's last win right there. But I don't know. Do I take the gamble? Is it worth it for Kurt? Logic says yes. But my pants say no. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> God damn. I hate myself. Yeah, it's going to be weird if Truex wins in that car. <laughs> Kyle Busch is going to be very salty about that. I can't imagine Kyle Busch's... His can't... It's not! That's the shitty thing. It's not even a good-looking car. But, JC, I, what do I... You know, what, do I, what am I supposed to do? I'm. It's just a conflicting thing. Because I don't, I mean, it's not really, I don't think it's that great looking of a car. It's just, why is it gray? Like, why does it have to be gray, like camouflaged gray? It is a gross looking car. Is it the ugliest car Kurt's ever won in? I think so. If I had to guess, that's probably the ugliest one. There's no other ones that I could think of that are on that tier of ugly. That's not going to be his last one. I can see him winning another three or four races. You know, I mean, I like to think that. But you just never know with racing. It's just, you know. You know, we never thought Harvick in 2021 would have gone winless after winning nine races in 2020. So, you know, it's hard to say. But I would love for Kirk to get to Mark's win count of 40. Is it possible? Maybe? I don't know. Diecast Buffet, you sir are... Well, thank you for the, the kind words, Chris Tombstone. I, I appreciate that. I oh, was talking about Diecast. It's talking to somebody. <laughs> now I feel awkward. Well, thank you for saying something nice to someone in chat. I guess I guess that's I guess that works too. Half down, half to go. This time by. No, Kurt's at 30 33. I believe it's at 33. I should know this. This is that's like basic Kurt lore information. We're gonna pick Harrison Burton. I don't think that's a good pick. Yay, I got my basic Kurt information right. I was scared. For a moment, I was not sure. Well, Akbar, with the uh, with Elliot winning 11 races and Walter winning 3, it was obviously back in them days. 
It was more about consistency and putting up finishes. And I guess the races where Elliot uh, was not good, Walter was gooder in his bad days. But I miss those days where you know you can just have a consistent season and be able to win a championship. Now it's not like that. You can have Kyle Busch miss like a third of the season and still win it because he just, you know, they, they reset points so much. Or, uh, you know, Jimmy Johnson where he was really like an eighth place driver all season but wins the title. Or in 2018 where Logano was like the fourth best all year and won it. Or Chase Elliott that was the third best and won it. Like there's, you know, just... I, I feel bad because, you know, it's not the driver's fault. They, they're put in that position. They got to do what they have to do, but just doesn't really feel like a rewarding champion. Why is my my game was like stuttering on the stream replay? That was weird. Thirty one looks so good on a Camaro. I agree, diecast buffet. I agree. We'll look at it. We'll look at it again in more up close detail. It, it's a nice looking car. Nice looking car. I wish they put in the uh, 99 X side one. I always think of Jeff Byrne in that car with the X side. He did win the most races in that car. I don't know how many, but I think it's like set, I think it's 15. I believe it's 15 of his 21 races. Two in 2001. 17. 18, yeah, so I think it was uh, 15 of his 21 wins were in the uh, X side car. I know that primarily because when I did the every win videos, like at the beginning of the video, it would have like, you know, Jeff Burton wins in NASCAR Cup Series. And um, I would always use the, uh, the image of like the car that they won the most races in. And that was the one. That's why with uh, Dale Jr., I... Positive, I used the eight Budweiser because he won the most races in that car of his 26 wins, 17, I believe. Other stuff like Kurt, Kurt's mo like, mo like Kurt has 15 wins in the 97 car. That's why I used the 97 car. Like things like that. I've always, I always, that's what I always used to do. With Kyle Busch, obviously, I used the 18, probably the 2008 car because that was the year he won the most races in. Uh, in like a season and that's you know he's one of the most in that kind of like scheme if I have to guess you know it's harder and harder to kind of pinpoint it as the years go on because you know so many drivers win in different schemes and sponsors because sponsors don't stick around or they don't have as long of contracts as they used to it's a whole different that's a whole thing how come I never did one on Jimmy Johnson it was an idea I always had in in my mind but I didn't know when, when I would do it, and I just, obviously he retired, uh, he retired in 2020 in the Cup Series, and I just, you know, at, by that point, I wasn't doing the everyone videos anymore. The last uh, bits I did were in 20, 2015. I'm pretty sure those were the like the last ones I did in 2015 because right as when Gordon retired, I uploaded the every win video for Jeff Gordon because I had that made well in advance and and everything. And it was like a I think it was a three hour video because <laughs> every Jeff Gordon win was on YouTube, all 92 of his wins plus his 13 non point uh, race wins. So that's 105 clips. <laughs> so yeah, that was a massive video and it took weeks to, to work on it. But that was like the last one, but I, I stopped doing it because I got like a copyright strike on them in like late or, or late 2016, early 2017. And I just, I couldn't keep them up, up anymore because it was too much of a it was too much of a liability, if that's the right word. It was too risky to keep them up because I don't want to get my channel terminated because of copyright stuff because by that point I was already doing YouTube full time. That's, you know, really important that I, you know, focus on, you know, making sure my, you know, my channel doesn't get taken down, so that was kind of the ultimatum I was dealt with, and I just, I had to remove them. 
I still have the files, like the original videos and stuff, saved on flash drives. I've always tinkered with the idea of like re-uploading them on like just on, a, on another account, but I just you know I'm just too busy with different stuff. I just don't have time to really sit there and because like I have to kind of re-edit them or like like if there's like obviously so much has changed in the last seven years. There might be more race clip footages or races in the original video that like weren't there are there now so you know i have to kind of go back and like kind of re-edit them to include the, the the clips that i need but yeah thank you for counting let me get through a rough patch of my life okay. oh th thank you chris for the kind words man i really appreciate that i'm glad to hear that my videos helped you out like that it means a lot <laughs> it really does Yeah, some race was CBR. Yeah, there was the one that was always weird. I think it was my first ever copyright issue. Is when I did the Davy Allison win video, and they copyright struck in the '92 All Star race, and I don't know why. It was just rant like, of all the other ones, I don't know why they would copyright that one. It was just weird. <laughs> Because he won the All-Star Race in 91 the year before, and that wasn't an issue, so... I don't know what changed. I don't know what, what the difference is, but... That was just a weird instance, I remember. There's a whole lot of different stuff with the copyright stuff being bizarre. If anyone follows the uh, Ackman situation on YouTube, like all that stuff was going on. Like that was uh, that was really bad. How they handled that situation. <laughs> oh God, the Forza games. I no, I'm not. not bleh, I'm never touching those games again unless. They have like a NASCAR expansion, like career mode DLC thing, kind of like what they did with Forza 5. Um, yeah, that's the only instance I will probably touch it, but otherwise, no. Because that, that, that I just, me and that game have bad beef, and I want to stay away from it. Always great to see you. Hope all is well. What's your thoughts on the Alex Pillow mess this week? Ooh. Thank you, Scott McNew with the five. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, and as always, really appreciate the, the, the super chat, man. That means a lot. I appreciate that a ton. Yeah, I've heard about the Alex Pillow stuff. I didn't even... I don't really know too much about it, other than really the stuff that came out yesterday. Because Austin Oganowski made a video um, basically uh, doing his investigating work and found out that his YouTube channel was basically... They were... They bought, like, a botted YouTube channel that had, like, a lot of subscribers on it, and the URL in the, the channel linked them to, a, like, an account that just looked very scammy. And, yeah, it looks, it looks bad. I don't know who the blame is, the management, Polo himself, but somebody's clearly the blame. And it's just, yeah, it's just a bad look for him. I don't really know too much about him, but... If that was something like he did on his end, or just, I don't know, I don't know if it's a malicious thing, but clearly if it's a management issue, then yeah, he's got some big time problems with this management team to do something like that, to pretty much bot and farm a, a fake account that had already like a big amount of subscribers from doing something. It just, it looks bad. It's just bad all around. And it doesn't, it doesn't make him look good. It's just like, it's just like, you know. You know, why, how would how would he have 150,000 subscribers on a YouTube channel where like the videos that are upload only have like 300 views? That doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So yeah, it's just it's just a bad situation all around. Um, very shady. I don't know who the blame is. If it's more on his management. I, I don't know. I feel like some of the blame has to go on Polo just because of him being unaware and just negligent. 
But it's it's just how much of it is. Was he just not aware? I don't know. But I think more of the brunt's probably gonna go to his uh, management team or team management or whatever. He just kind of you know go from there. So yeah, it's just a, it's just a gross situation. All around. Uh, do I do online? Not a whole lot anymore. That's front bumper damage, by the way. That's that's some shit. But either way, um, yeah, I don't really do online races anymore unless it's like Moots doing uh, his streams on uh, Heat Five online. Otherwise, I don't really do them. Probably race with me, Caleb. Can we start last in stage three and then pass all the cards again? I mean, that's not a bad idea. I could probably do that and still win. <laughs> I could probably do that and still win the damn thing. I do got an idea, though, when, when stage three starts. I'm going to take the access road. I was doing this off camera. Because I was just bored because I was leading by so much. I was like, alright, I'm going to try to do something to make it interesting for me. So I took the access road, because there's like a little, like, course. Uh, there's a little course to the left. So I'm, I'll take the access road and, like, do that. Probably for two laps, because that's how many laps it'll take for me to get to last by doing it that way, but we will do that for stage three. And then charge up to the front, because it only took me about 35 laps or 40 to do it, so... It is possible, so... Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, he 5 will be fun to race with you. But you need to let me have all the handicaps. <laughs> oh, no. Well, usually with the, my Heat 5 streams, if whenever I do them, which I don't know if I'll ever do them on Xbox anymore, because, like, my Elgato, for whatever reason, doesn't want to work properly with, like, OBS and my Streamlabs OBS. It just doesn't want to work with it. So I can't really do it unless it's on, you know, PC. But I always usually just have the assist off because, you know, it's it just, it, it's, we, we, in, we in hardcore gamer mode. So... Yeah, the, um, <laughs> you know, I thought adjusting the AI, like, tire wear fall-off thing would make them a little more competitive. It sort of did earlier in the run, but now it's just kind of gone to our side again. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, we got about 17 on lead lap and... Well, 18 currently, but we're about to lap Bowman in the process, but... Yeah, so... I don't know how many we got left. Well, I know how many we got left, but I don't know where Kurt's at. I don't want to lap Kurt, but I'm, I may have no choice but to do it. I remember Heat 4 at Bristol, I let you... You let me win? Wait, or you let me... Wow. Well, thank you for the... Thank you for doing that. <laughs> God, Heat 4, I miss those days. That, that was such a magical couple of days when Heat 4 came out. And everybody was just so happy with the game. 
I remember all the content creators were happy. It was just a good time. It was really nice. That was so euphoric and surreal. I just, I'm glad I was a part of it. So, that is a really weird situation. Well, thank, thank you for letting me know, Scott, with the, the Pelot situation. So, he signed with Ganassi, and then Pelot angrily tweeted that he's not signed with Ganassi. That is really weird. So, wait, is there, like, two contracts going on at the same time? I think I heard something about that in David Land's video, but I'm not, like, positive on the situation. That is really weird. <laughs> that is a really weird situation. Stay left. Clear all around. Careful, still there. All right, clear outside. Most people are just rude, but I remember correctly. Well, I mean, thank you. I mean, I try. <laughs> you know, when it comes to, like, you know, racing online, it's... It's hard to race clean when it's just such a mess, and... But I do try my best, and... Um... But, yeah. Like, in league races and stuff, I remember... I don't... I, I never cause problems. <laughs> I've never gotten into an incident with someone or pissed someone off. I'm just... I just race clean. I just don't. I just don't race like a douche. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've always done that. Even back in the Nork days, I just I always try to race people cleanly, race them with respect. I race them hard, but I don't. You know, and also you got to factor in too with like the lag bubble and other sort of stuff. So you have to really be careful. Hello, Jordan. I saw I saw your message. I'm sorry. I didn't get. I didn't say hi sooner. But thank you for stopping by, though. I was in a. I was in a tangent. My brain was elsewhere. But hello. Michael McDowell's 15th. That is pretty sweet. He's ahead of Chase Elliott. <laughs> I just thought of that. He's ahead of Chase Elliott by good because Chase is like in the 20s. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even think about that. I said hello. I, what what are you what do you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't get to it right away. McLaren announces they signed Pelot for t Oh my god. That is a, that is a situation. That is an absolutely gross situation that Flo has got himself in. It's a really weird situation. So, I, when has that ever happened? I don't. I mean, maybe it's happened before, but I, I don't recall a situation happening like that where it's like two people, publicly wanting a driver at the same time. Jordan, okay, Jordan, all right. Well, if you're just gonna troll, then you know I'm just gonna ignore you. Then I said hello like twice. I don't, I don't know what more you want. It's just... Hi. <laughs> Only 19 likes. Smash the like button. Get to turn. Yeah, listen to Christopher Fry, my PR guy. I like that ring. I like that ring. It's, it's good. Damn you, what if... Stop what you're doing and say hello to Jordan. I will pause the game. I will go into full face cam. And ASMR hello you. I don't know what more you... <laughs> now look what you've started. <laughs> Everybody's going to sing hi. <laughs> hello 8-bit. Thanks for stopping by. Hello Justin.
<laughs> now the chat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, Corey. We got a lot of lurkers in chat. Like, we just got a lot of lurkers that just come out of nowhere to say hello. I like that. I like that. Hello, BC Wizzle. I'm glad you're backle. <laughs> I've made a lot of or uh, spelling errors before, so I I'm in that same boat. I do that way more often than I like to admit. I gotta, I gotta fix that because that's it gets, it, I, I, I mess up way too much. I was looking at chat. <laughs> Everyone say hello to what if, and if he doesn't say your name, spam from. <laughs> Oh my god. Chat. Why? You, you, you've created a monster now. Everybody's saying hello. That's awesome. I love that. About to lap Ross Chastain. Still there. He's being a pain. See, my brain goes faster than my fingers in this book. I'm glad we can relate to that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it happens a lot. Twitter bug it bugs me on Twitter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my God! Organic wreck! Oh my God! Chris Busher is gonna get COVID again, just like in Charlotte by flying through the air. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Dale Reynolds got some uh, good camera shots of that because he's at New Hampshire this week. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god, that was an organic wreck right in front of me. That is a, that's a stream highlight. We got a stream highlight. Yes! We got a stream highlight. I can make a short out of that now. We dropped two spots, so I don't really know why. Wow. <laughs> what a... What a wreck. <laughs> Chris Butcher <laughs> flipping through the air again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> At New Hampshire, of all places. Everyone's arrested. <laughs> he liked flipping so much he wanted to do it again. That it was a weird wreck, though. His car was, like, trying to wait shit? I don't know what that was, but... I'm starting to wonder if Jordan is my nephew. He's saying things that my nephew would just say. I don't know. <laughs> but... I don't even know what to say. That is a stream highlight right there. That was glorious. That didn't even DNF him. I just noticed that. That didn't even DNF him. He's still out on track somewhere. What an absolute chad. He flipped that son of a bitch car and kept on going. We need more men with the heart and the passion of Christopher Busher. That's not even his name, but it's Chris Busher. <laughs> Christopher Bush. I mean, maybe his full name is Christopher. I don't know, but... Chris Busher is low-key good. Not gonna lie, he low-key kinda good. I think he's a lot better than what his equipment is showing. The fact he's able to make that 17 car competitive... That is pretty, pretty freaking cool.
Yeah, he did pull a Jessica Friesen. Except I was able to see it. Unlike Fox. Who can't... Oh, God, that, that freaking race was bad. That truck race at Knoxville was maybe the saddest race I've... Maybe that in, like, the, the mo uh, mid-Ohio, because that was, like... They weren't even physically there at the track. So they're just using just remote cameras, and it's just awful. But the race at Mid-Ohio was good. It was it was good. But yeah, the broadcast was terrible. Hey, hello, Rowdy C-Dub. Thanks for stopping by in the stream on this, uh... You know, Sunday afternoon... I'll be sure to tune into your stream at some point, like I always do. But thanks for stopping by and mine. I appreciate it. 50 plus, we have every, I, this, I love this series. This is my favorite, this is my, this might be my favorite stream series ever that I've, I have concocted. We started off with like 25 people tuning in, now we got over 50. Holy shit. I, I I can't I can't believe it. Thank you for stopping by. Like this like the stream. I do these every uh, Sunday or Saturday, depending on if there's like a night race. I always try to stream them around like three and a half hours or something before the race. And yeah, so usually they start at eleven thirty or twelve. Obviously, if they start on like a Saturday, then they I'll, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what time it'll be, but basically take the race time and subtract like three to three and a half hours that's I that's the logic that's the the logic behind it uh, to ask you about discord and all is that a suggestion tab? Uh, yeah, I guess that would be under the suggestion tab, if you're wondering about that. Yeah, I guess you would throw it in the suggestion tab. I guess I guess that would work. All right. Uh, actually. I don't even have any mods. Well, I have JC, but I don't know if he's here. But I can't... Well, I have to sign in the chat, open the web browser, and then go to it. Why is Streamlabs OBS so weird? We're just going to put Jordan time out because he... Uh, he clearly... If he's my nephew... Don't... Don't... Don't do that, please. Just, just don't... Don't do that. Because like <laughs> it really sounds like my nephew talking, <laughs> which I I appreciate. But man, don't don't do stuff like that. Don't 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 spam the chat and say random stuff. How do you become a mod? Well, I have to do it myself. But boom, BC Whistle is a mod. Why am I making you a mod? You're a channel member. And why not? Akbar, make him a mod too. So boom, there you go. Hopefully, hopefully that worked. <laughs> but that should have that should have given you mod powers. If I had to guess. I hope that worked. If you see a little gear wrench by your name, then you have become a mod. Use it responsibly. Wow, thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for, uh... You're part of the... Yeah. Basically, uh, I don't really have too many rules for being a mod. Just that if you see, like, dumb stuff in chat or really offensive stuff, just remove it. That, that's really it. I don't, I don't really have any too crazy, like, strict rules or anything. 
but that's that's the general gist of it. But yeah. Now I'm going full Palpatine this chat. Use it responsibly, that's all I ask. Hi, whatever racing. I uh, hope things are going well. Um, I guess it is. I'm just mainly waiting for the, the big old uh, YouTube check thing to come in. Because that's going to be a game changer with with literally Sprinter literally donating like, like a bank to me. <laughs> like, he did so much Super Chats for me. Same with Day 500, like, that. that's going to get me set for a little bit here. So I'm just trying to get by on that, because, you know, it's just something I have to think about. Otherwise, I'm feeling pretty decent today. Again, I was just really excited to stream this, because I didn't do it last week, and I'm just happy to do it. And I'm amazed there's this many, there's even 40, 50 people here. I, even, that's even with restarting the stream, because my internet died. Like, that is insane. <laughs> I didn't expect even, like, 30, wait, 70% to come back. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Because usually that really messes things up when you have to restart the stream and kind of come back. But it's, it's, it's better than it was before. That's even more, like, insane. <laughs> Outlaw with the, ooh, the super sticker. Oh, I didn't... I thought I was gonna... I don't have too much... I don't recall getting too much super sticker, so I didn't know if it was gonna say, like, the emoji name, but... Well, thank you for the three, though. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's nice. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you for the extremely adorable Corgi, if I believe my animal naming is correct. That is a dog I would love to get one day, because I love... <laughs> I love corgis. They're really cute. Outlaw BBK with the... Oh my god, he became a member! Ooh, we get to add that to the... To the videos now. His, 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 he's a part of the member gang. That's sweet. Thank you so much, man, for doing that. I appreciate it. It means a lot. It goes a long ways. Even if it's only, I think, tier 1's a one ninety nine or dollar ninety nine, dollars still, still adds up. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Being a part of the club, being a part of the members. Uh, yeah, thank you. Twenty six laps to go in stage two. I'm gonna do what uh, Christopher Fry suggested. Suggested. Twelve five twenty two and. <laughs> hey, Ryan Blaney's okay. By Heat 4 doesn't have a... I agree. I don't know why Heat 4 never had like a far chase like Heat 5 does. You would think it would be something pretty easy to, to do. It might be moddable to fix the camera angle a little bit further back like Heat 5. It might be possible. I just don't know how to do it. But it could be possible. I would like that because I do like the far chase a lot better. Just because I could see more. Compared to uh, this angle. I flip through all those way too quick because uh, I just I just like to see more but yeah I'd be okay with Blaney winning. <laughs> yeah. I agree, BC Wizzle. Out of all those, I would, I would, like... Oh. Well, that's fine, Akbar. Don't, don't, don't sweat it. I, 
I'm I'm just happy you're here chatting and being here anyways. It's no no biggies. The fact that I'm even on the priority list at all versus the, the open, that's that's pretty freaking sweet. I didn't think I'd be worth that. <laughs> Look at that! Look at all the bro look at all the love in the chat now. Smiley faces everywhere. I love that. The sun is turning one. We and heat and we usually watch our streams together. That's oh, that's all. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Well, that's 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 super wholesome. I like to hear that. That's really cool. Well, congrats on your son turning nearly one here pretty soon. And thank you for, you know, watching and bonding over my silly baboon idiot self me doing a race. <laughs> that's that's amazing. I, I like I, I like hearing stories like that. That's <laughs> That's that's really wholesome. Smash the like button if you haven't yet. It's free now. Christopher Fry is really on the like game today. He has been more active than ever with the likes. <laughs> like, that's incredible. But yeah, um, if everyone's still tuning in, um, still remember, I, uh, after this race ends, we'll do a little, like, die, big, big old die cast review of Kurt's uh, race win Atlanta car. Um, I'll go full screen camera, we'll kind of talk about it, talk about, like, how the adventure of me just opening the, the thing, because that went wrong. <laughs> there's a, there's a monumental spelling error error on the packaging which is legendary <laughs> so we got some we got some goofy stuff to talk about so definitely stick around uh, to, oh, after the after the race ends because I'll definitely talk about it Well, the trick... Well, I don't know how it works with Viacom. But the trick with... At least when I was doing, like, One Piece videos is... You basically need to use the clip footage... Unedited. Like, even if you're talking over it for, like... Basically three to four seconds. And you have to do, like, edits every three or four seconds. So it doesn't get too long of a clip to copyright it. That's what I've learned. You also have to make the screen... Uh, you gotta crop the screen and do stuff like that. Like that also helps, like the footage. Like make just basically make it smaller. There's little tricks like that to kind of get through it, but it doesn't always fix the issue, so. Yeah. There is a booger on my nose. And it's bugging me. I hate it. This this is a we are in some big time driver problems right now on track. I just know, you know, yeah, I, I just noticed that too. What happened to Ryan Blake? He was in second. I saw him not even in the top five. <laughs> now he's fifth again. What happened? How did he lose like two seconds? I don't know. Lap traffic must have utterly destroyed him. But even after all this racing and how deep into a run we are, we're not super duper far ahead of Larson. Usually we are. 
but mm, it's not, not too bad, so. Yeah, once we start stage three. Yeah, once we get into stage three, I'll I'll take the access road and we'll basically start last and then we'll work our way up through the front. Right, we'll have about a hundred and plus some odd laps to get up there, so it should be possible. We got we gotta We gotta spice it up. We gotta at least try something to Make this race entertaining. I hate to say that, though. That sounds really cringy that I'm saying that. Bulgar. <laughs> Chase A! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Another dollar super chat. <laughs> God, I never heard the... I never heard the... I never heard her say that before, so that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Well, thank you, JC, for the dollar. <laughs> Still there. Clear down low. You know what's really wholesome? Um... It was something I was worried about when I was doing my race reviews is I feel like I have a lot of very like nuclear takes and I don't want people to hate me for them like we it's like it's fine to disagree but I don't want people like hating me because the opinions that I, that I have on certain things so I do appreciate that because I, I was one thing I was worried about when I was doing uh, was coming back to the race reviews I was just kind of hesitant on it because, you know, I don't want people to not like me because of my takes. So the people that still stick around and enjoy what I do, even with my my nuclear takes, uh, I do appreciate that. So it, it makes me happy to, to just to see that. It just, I don't know, it just means a lot. Chat is... It's JC stop. Don't you don't 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 you dare do the triple dots on me. <laughs> Nuclear takes. Yeah. Well, the, the how that the how that started was in Day 500's uh, streams. On uh, Twitch, because sometimes he would have like a take, and I'll be like, "Uh oh, nuclear take, ducking cover everyone," <laughs> or something like that, and it just kind of blossomed into me saying nuclear take. I don't hate you, and I thought your Atlanta review was an L. Damn. Damn, that is a burn. I no way I'm gonna extinguish <laughs> extinguish that. I, I can't go back from that. Holy crap! You should do reaction. Bits like crash comps, right, dirty moves, and old racing, etc. It'll be cool to see. You know, I've thought about it. I just, I don't know. I just don't think I would be very good at something like that. Now, I the idea of doing like race reviews on older races, it is something I tried. You could look on my channel back in like years ago. I actually did a race review on the 2000 Bud Shootout. It was fun to make. And I was working on like doing doing like a rant basically on the two thousand duels because they were horrendous. Because the shootout was actually really good. And I remember the duels being just terrible. And I was gonna make a rant on I just I didn't I just didn't go through with it. I don't know why, I just I, I just I just didn't. <laughs> But that, that is one idea I did think about trying to do. I 
There you go, Jordan plays. Yeah, you get the stream to a thousand likes. Like the stream, get it to a thousand likes. <laughs> That's the spirit. Christopher Fry might be the most just real person. He could tell it like it is. Well, not, well, he could. Wait, what am I trying? I don't know how I'm trying to. I gotta be careful how I phrase this because I don't want to sound stupid. <laughs> We'll win stage two. I, we'll win stage two. I'm trying to say, this Chris Fry, he tells it like it is from his point of view, but he won't hate me against. And that's that is, that is some that is some like, Ugh. that's some. I, I'm trying to do like a hug, but it's like, Ugh. Ow. That's so that's so weird. <laughs> oh God. Well, we're going to pit. We're going to go back to last. Somebody did ask what the AI difficulty is. It is it's at 105. It's on max difficulty. So we'll pit here. We actually lost the spot, so I'm going to have to try to find a way to get to the bottom here. All right, be smart out there. Going green. Coming to the green. Clear and behind you. Clear that was a good start. We got 112 laps to go. So a couple laps longer than stage two. Alright, we're gonna do it. Logano, go by. We're gonna take the access road. See, we're so confident. I'm so cocky that I can do this. They're slowing down for me, which is really weird. But I'll do it one more time for the shits of it. Because I'm that confident. We'll do it again. Because I'm that arrogant. I'm so My ego is so astronomically high. That I could just do this for two laps. And still win the race. Because we're just going to embarrass the field that much more. All right, now it's on like Donkey Kong. My nose is still, that booger is still persisting itself. That's something. Well, the thing is with that, uh, usually, well, I always keep that in mind. I always keep that in mind. Obviously, it sucks more because Kirk got involved in it. But I take myself, like, out of it. And I think of it as just like, well, that's just a, a dumb block. And, you know, it just, it just makes it, yeah. So it's just, I know when to turn on and off the, the bias. Or at least I try my damnedest to, to communicate that to the, to the audience. King Kong ain't got no. <laughs> Still in 14th. Well, that's because we lapped up to. We lapped so many people that this is where we're at right now. <laughs> God, this is just disgusting how fast we are. We'll just split the middle. We'll just split the middle because we're just that hardcore. Stay high. Clear all around. 
Well, we're only 10 seconds back. I'm going to predict our on lap 250 is where we're, uh, when we're going to get the lead. If it keeps going green. If not, then that kind of changes everything, but... Nope. That is nose damage. That is indeed nose damage. That's some... That's some crap. The car just works. The car works so good in that second groove. It is just... I don't know, that's just... That, it feels illegal. Careful, still there. I don't know, maybe I'm just good at this track because I could just dime in the corner, or I just... I'm just patient? I, I don't know. It, I hate... It just doesn't make any sense. I hate it so much. It's so gross. But at the same time, I'm good. I don't, I don't understand. Don't move. Stay high. All right. Clear low. Still there. High lane's clear. Nobody out back. I don't know if we're catching Laura. I mean, we're just, just breaking even. But once they get into lap traffic, that's where everything just starts to fall apart, which is kind of a shame because I think the race pace by themselves is pretty like, decent enough. But once they catch lap traffic, they just, they just fall apart. Hey, second Casey. Well, thank you for stopping by in the stream. I appreciate it. You're you've been a long time uh, follower of the channel, so I appreciate it. I will respectfully disagree on on your your statement, but please don't leave. Your your bro. I like you. You've been here for a long time. I was noticing two in uh, stage two when Larson got the second. I couldn't pull away from him. I mean, I was able to pull away from him, but it was like 2.6 seconds, and it stayed at 2.6 seconds. Like, I don't... I'm kind of amazed by that. So maybe Larson just has a really good car now. One thing I remember back in, like, Heat 2. Heat 2, I remember New Hampshire being really tough. But I would always remember I would get such a run off the corners, I would gain time on them from that. But then everywhere else, I would lose time. <laughs> so I don't know why I remember that. I, just, I remember that track having, like, that fallout yeah, look I to it, I. where it just everything looked yellow. And it didn't look right. Where's day 500? Chase Elliott is, is a snowflake. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. 
Second Casey is the real is the real OG. That I appreciate that. That that means a lot. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being a part of the channel and being involved for forever. <laughs> Way back since like the Heat three days. Ew. Ew. Logano's leading. No. I. Oh, that's just despicable. <laughs> Can you imagine if we get to 50 likes twice? <laughs> that'll be funny. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. Being able to get to it once is good enough. I wish they, like, the AI could get around lap traffic better. It's like we are definitely gaining, but it's definitely not, you know, a crazy amount. We gained about a second in the last, like, 13 laps. I just know lap traffic is going to just completely screw them up. <laughs> you can get emoji for the count. I agree. That's gross. Yeah, I don't know why on earth they did that with Heat 2 and Heat 3 with New Hampshire looking like, like a nuclear fallout happened. Just d d just didn't look right. Stay high, stay high. Still there. Is the final race you're going to do? Well... Yeah, it's a 100% it's a race. I don't want to do anything else after that, and then I don't want to have this race bleed into the real life race. So, yeah, we always do uh, one race in this uh, Sunday stream with the 100% stuff. Don't know why Heat Evolution had better graphics than 2 or 3. No. No, Heat 2 and each Heat game graphically did get better. It's not by a gargantuan amount, but they did gradually get better. So is Kurt running 14th? Is that what this game's saying? Or 12th? Okay, 12th. All right, you know, I'll take... Chris Buescher is... A <laughs> He's an 11th after flipping. He is in a series... Well, I don't know if he can get a top 10, but... <laughs> what a comeback for him. That's... That's just absurd. He just passed Kyle Busch. He just passed Kyle Busch. The absolute legend of a man. Just effortlessly passed Kyle Busch... Like, it was nothing, and he, what a, I, wow, that is driver of the day. It doesn't matter what happens to me. Chris Buescher is the man of the people. That is astronomically unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, Redneck Jesus, you missed uh, a... Uh, it happened in stage two. It happened right in front of me. It was quite possibly the most magical thing I've seen of this Sunday stream series. Like, it just... I, I don't know what can top it. The 2020 Newman did. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully the game has a good replay angle of that. After the race, I, I really hope it. I, I mean, I I have to imagine it will, but it's Heat Five. It probably may not show it properly. And Kyle Busch is going to take tenth away from Busher. Boo, boo to that. Uh oh, uh oh, what the hell? 
Well, we got some AI shenanigans. Looks like they're going to get down to pit road. That's, uh, yeah, that's stacking up a lot of people. That was weird. We got in the top ten because of that, so hooray. To, uh, I guess it might have been a Rick Ware card that did that. But I missed Sprinter. You missed, uh, <laughs> kind of insane stuff. Well, it was only one insane stuff. There was a wreck in front of me in stage two. Chris Buescher got launched like 30 feet up in the air, higher than the fence. Kept going. And is now in 12th. Was in 10th for a brief period of time. But is still out there. After flipping. I mean, it was truly a sight to behold. And then I intentionally took the road course for two laps to give myself a disadvantage to make the last stage interesting. And now we're trying to run down Logano, who is only 8.9 in front of me. Yeah, flown to the grandstands in New Hampshire. You know what? I, I, I believe that because this game, the heat games have been weird with the wrecks. I, my car has flipped into the fans at Auto Club in Heat 3. So, it is, you know, it's possible. Uh, you need to take it low in the corners. Uh... No, not at this track. The middle lane's pretty much the preferred. You can maybe dip your left side tires into the, the other groove. But being in this middle lane oh, here is the uh, basically the best lane you want to be in. It should save your tires, but I don't know if Heat 5 is that complicated enough to, to know that. Careful, still there. All clear. But we are steadily One gaining, back. and we got to factor in there's going to be pit stops. Lap traffic's probably gonna mess them up, so I mean we got plenty of time. Being a hundred feet tall catch fences. <laughs> they do they really do for these cars. They just it's dangerous. <laughs> Do you like spaghetti? Yes. I don't really eat that, like, the, the, the stringy spaghetti anymore. I primarily just go with, like, wheat pasta. Careful, still there. Nobody out back. But, yeah, I do like it. It's good. How I got into liking wheat pasta was my high school, or my elementary school in sixth grade. I tried like the school lunch for the first time because I always I always thought the pasta looked good. And I tried it. And I liked it. And that's when I learned I liked wheat pasta. A lot of people said it it tasted like erasers, and I said it's a damn good eraser. And they had no comeback. Because they knew. I was right. Eric Jones is eighth. Hell yeah. That's oh that's sick. He was running like fifteenth earlier in the day, so I'd like to see him have a top 10 run. Eric Jones, I think I mentioned it earlier. He, uh, he has two top 5s, six top 10s. Outside, outside. Which, already, even though we're not even done with the season, I'm belching a lot. He has tied the amounts of top 5s and top 10s Hell he had. Up. Uh, last year, so he's already doing better than he did last year, which is really cool to see. Do I like lasagna? No. I tried it. I hate it. I don't know why, but I, I don't I don't like it. it. Just the noodle doesn't taste like a proper good noodle, and it and it angers me.
Hey, Blue Jimmy's here. Well, thank you for stopping by in the stream. I appreciate it. Eric Jones, I will say no to your efforts of passing me. Thank you. Yeah, fuck lasagna. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Today's race might be the snooze here. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm kind of worried about it. Just because it is a flat track similar to Martinsville. And I just don't know how it's going to be. You going to Pocono next Sunday? I wish I could. I can't. I got to save money. Dale literally DM'd me saying that he got, like, uh, one of his friends couldn't go. So I he basically offered me a free ticket. It broke my heart because I really can't afford to even do that. Because, you know, I, it, it, like, the gas money alone, even just basic stuff like just food, when I'm there, it's I can't afford to be spending that, like, money on stuff like that. Like, it takes about 40... My car is pretty good on gas, but it just adds up because, you know, $40 to fill up the car decently. New Hampshire's multiple hours away, so that's forty all probably $40 back and forth. That's $80 there, and then just for food, I mean, I'm going to be spending a little over 100 and I can't afford to do stuff like that, so it's just not realistically viable to, to do all that. So it, it sucks. I, I can't really do stuff like that. Do you think Harrison Bird will be good in 2023? I mean, logically, you would think the second year he'll, he'll be, you know, he'll improve compared to right his first year. But you never know. Ahead for me. I would outside. think he would. Now, when I say he's going to improve, I'm not expecting anything crazy. <laughs> Maybe, like, his average finish will go up a position. Maybe that's, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Pineapple on pizza is a good idea. Still there. I I will I will say no. Stay I will say right. no to that. Nobody out back. You got room. You're clear. Anchovies is something that doesn't belong. You know what? I agree. I don't like anchovies to begin with. The only thing that belongs on pizza that should be the limit is just pepperoni. I, I'm fine with pepperoni. But then again, this is coming from me who has probably the worst food takes ever, so I, I'm not going to be the the one on the soapbox to make these claims. Has the 31 put the bumper to the 24? <laughs> I've been so fast, I don't even need to use the bumper on them. <laughs> I'm just that, that fast. Chat, talk about pizzas making me hungry. Stay low, stay low. All clear. I'm 
cheese and pepperoni. That's it. You know what? Me, you know what? Me and Second Casey can disagree on some things, but when it comes to pizza, we <laughs> we are brothers in arms <laughs> with pizza. <laughs> Really, I really like my favorite pizza places is just local stuff. Like, there's Roma's, which I, I think it's only a Pennsylvania thing. Um, there's Roma's, which is, I believe, another local thing. Um, then Domino's, which I guess is, it, that's pretty, pretty common. I don't really have, like, a Papa John's or a Little Caesar's, so I can't say on them. I have not had Domino's in a long time. Um... She's probably since earlier this year, maybe. I will say, when it comes to Domino's, like, reheating it is probably the Careful, easiest in, like, Looking it's the one. best. When it, <laughs> reheating it is, is great only because it maintains its cardboard-like quality. It doesn't get floppy. It doesn't get, like, gross. It still maintains its same quality. And as you see, once, well, Logano did get by lap traffic, but as you see, there was a big wad of cars that cost them really like three or four seconds. And that's just kind of the, the unfortunate thing. This was even a thing back in like Dirt Daytona where the AI had a hard time getting around lap traffic. Still there. I will still take this over, you know, NASCAR 21 AI where they just don't even bother. Like, they All really right, don't well. try to pass lap cars. Well, though Domino's is shockingly cheap. I guess maybe that's the point. But to get like two large trays of pizza is only $15. That's pretty damn... I feel like that's pretty damn good. If I get the same thing at like, you know, a local pizza place like Roma's or Velo's, it'd be like $30. Obviously their quality is probably twice as better, but... You know, there's just, you know, sometimes you just go with the cheap stuff. Have I ever played the Need for Speed games? No, I haven't. I think... I think I have it. Which I don't know how or why I have it. I don't know if I do. <laughs> I have to go look. But I never played them. Then, why do, why do I have it? I think my cousin lent it to me. I think that's how I have one. I don't really know the game. Also, we just passed uh, Kyle Larson. And now we're just going to split everyone. Get up to third. I did say we were going to get the lead around lap 250. In, well, we're not really there, but it could still happen. As you see, now that Logano's out of lap traffic, it's uh, it, it's taking me a little bit longer to actually start making up the time on them. You have it? What is it, though? I don't remember! <laughs> I don't remember. I believe it's a PS2 game. That much I know. So that narrows it down a little bit. I don't really have any other, I mean, as far as, like, channel content stuff, I think I'm going to be pretty busy for quite a while. Because once September comes out, I'll obviously have to do the career mode of the NASCAR 21, like, 22 DLC thing. And the new World of Outlaws games coming out in September. So I'm going to be busy for a couple months with those two. And funny enough, those uh, NASCAR 08 and the World of Outlaws Sprint Cars 2002 should be wrapping up in the month of September. So it's going to be kind of, I mean, not, not like perfect, but it's going to be wrapping up at the same time. Can you do ATB off for your career mode again? I did it twice. <laughs> I'm good. No, thank you. 
Do you even like noodles? No, fuck noodles! Fuck noodles! <laughs> I hate them. Please don't do that. I, I have to. Unfortunately, as part of me being a content creator, for view's sake, money's sake, I have to cover it. It will probably do okay in terms of view count. So, like, I, ha I have to. How long will it go? I don't know. Probably not very long. Because 25% races still break the game. 13% races seem like it doesn't break it as badly. So, I don't know. It'll probably be like 10 to 15 parts if I had to guess. Is NASCAR 20? Well, 21 is, yeah. What if, do you like bacon on cheese? First of all, I don't like cheeseburgers in general, so that's a no. Bacon, yes. Mix the two together, no. I like bacon, though. Just give me the bacon. Hope 22 is free. I hope it is free as well. I mean, if they're going to charge us, then, yeah, that's going to be... That's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad look on them. It's going to make them look even worse. Do you love salad? No. I don't like salad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. That was, that was going to be a organic race for the lead. I was catching Logano. Things were going well. Oh, well. Well, we'll pit. Now we can make it to the end on fuel. What if doesn't like cheeseburger? I'm sorry! I tried it on three different occasions. I don't like it. I tried with Arby's. I tried with McDonald's. I tried with Burger King. I tried it at home, and I hate it. It just doesn't taste well with me. You can't see. I'm sorry, JC. We're pitting. Yeah. Have a good day. Go, go, go. Sort of. Well, now we're going to get the lead. All clear. That was simple enough. I Well, I did say I would get the lead around lap 250, and I, I mean, it did happen. Not in the way I was intending, but it did happen. And now we got more than enough fuel to make it to the end, so... I think it's going to be a pretty simple dub after this. Pretty straightforward, so. Yeah. Roll the ball. Kiss you. <laughs> oh, God damn it, JC. <laughs> you hate noodles. Okay, let's... <laughs> Are you it's lactose? I'm not lactose intolerant. That's the bizarre thing. But I just there's certain things I just I I I I rather be I rather have lact. Well, no, because I like I would because I like I like milk. So does what if like mustard? I would say yes, but in very very small dosages. That's my opinion. Give me a tiny bit of mustard. I, you know I can live with that. Too much, and it's just, it's just, it's just too powerful. Do you like catfish? I've been catfish before. That's a shitty experience. That's a fun story time. Also, I can't talk about it now, because Logano is really giving me a fight. And I want to be the superior orange car. Have you ever had fried fish? Oh, God. I, I've i had, like, beer-battered fish. I like that. Fried fish, I don't think I've ever had.
Well, we got the lead from Logano. We're kind of holding our own, so... That's good. I got tight, so that's unfortunate. We are running similar paint schemes. That is correct. The fans are, like, glitching out because they can't handle this much orange, in, like, side by side. <laughs> At least it makes sense where we can diamond the car off the corner and get a little bit of a run in the straightaway. So that, that that's nice that there's some element of logic. Tony for the orange trifecta. I agree. I, I guess Truex would be the next best oh, bet because this car has some bit of orange in it. But he's in fifth, so uh, it's a bit too far out. Still there. All clear. I haven't tried mustard on a goat. <laughs> Why the f JC, I think you're drunk. Go home. <laughs> Go back home. All clear. No pressure from behind. Do you like Taco Bell? I hate tacos. I'm sorry. I hate it. I, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of tacos. Just give me the shell and I'll eat the shell. <laughs> right, I, I hate this food talk because like I, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a big library of food I like, and it's just like, so I just like. What's beyond a nuclear take? A planet take? Galaxy take? I don't... I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate burritos. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I, I'm so bad at the, 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 the food. Multiverse take. <laughs> that's that's a good way to put it. A black hole. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's You're you're thinking beyond the box. Hot dogs? I love hot dogs! I grew up on those all the time. But but we need like a super cut of me just hating food. It'd be like an hour long. It's just like I hate everything. <laughs> it always comes back to food in these streams. Somehow, some way. I like Long John Silvers. Hell yeah. But with hot dogs, um, I don't like anything on them. I just like, I just, g give me the freaking meat in the bun. That's all you need in love. <laughs> That's all you need in a relationship. <laughs> That's it. Well, sometimes I, pr I prefer, like, the potato buns because they're fluffier and they kind of help with the digesting them so it's, like, less greasy. It does, I don't, does that, it probably doesn't make sense. Kamikaze hates hot dogs? Oh my god. Subway? No. I don't like Subway. Long John Silver's is a scam. Rice Aroni on a. Ew! Ew! <laughs> well. 
I've seen people like put sauerkraut and stuff on it, but so I, I guess I don't know. what types of chips do you like? Very specific ones, so I don't get a canker sore, even though I have one right now on my lip. I got that canker ointment that actually helps. It's the Utz chips. Because the chip is soft, and it it's less likely for canker sores to appear. If I have anything else, like hers or Lay's, they just cut my mouth like a freaking paper. And it's bad. I think I saw his comment about I'm making enemies like a thunder of <laughs> Subway is the more sport games of the food industry. Damn. I didn't know it was that bad. Actually, I have Uts chips in my room right now. I could do an ASMR, but I don't want to do that because it's just. Unless I get paid for it. I guess if I get paid, then I guess I could do anything technically, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to pull people against that. What is the best lunch meat? I have no idea. I am not the expert. I am, I am not the expert to be asking these questions or at, I, I should not be the one to be questioned with food. Thirty-minute lightning hole in New Hampshire right now. Well, uh, well, I mean that's not really going to do it. I mean the race hasn't started yet, so that's not going to really affect anything. It's the race, I think the race start time is like at three twenty or three nineteen. I mean, have you seen what they let Jerry do? Yeah, that is true. Well, I don't know if that's like Subway's fault. Well, maybe. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't know about the whole that whole debacle. You like Chinese food? I do not. I'm sorry. I wish I did, but I don't. I tried it. I just don't like it. He would have McDonald's or Burger King. Well, uh, this I have experience on. I would say if you're going to Burger King for the burgers, get Burger King. You want the fries? Go get McDonald's. I think that's a pretty simple bet. Someone needs to create a doc. And write what he likes and doesn't like. That that doesn't like column, it would be massive. Yeah, that's... I don't know when they changed that. I don't know when that became a thing, but... That is nice. Any size is a dollar. It's, it's a good deal. Have I ever... I would love to go to Popeye's, but there isn't one in my area. And that sucks. So I would want to try it. But it's not around now. I will say, Burger King's drink sizes and just the price of them, they suck. If you have the option to not get a drink with your BK order, then don't do it. <laughs> it's just that they, that they cost too much. Chick fil A, or, I think. Well, I'm not an expert, so I, don't, I, I, I haven't ate either, so I, I can't even give an opinion. 
watching the PBA Bowling All-Star Clash. Oh, sweet! I'm glad that's on. I'll have to watch the taped version or something later. I still watch it. I'm not gonna lie. Bowling is very, very freaking entertaining. And it's like, or it can get organically tense. With how the games just rat, like, how the games conclude or how they, how it gets to that point. Just it's, it can it can get really freaking intense. It's 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 good, and there's a lot of interesting, even from like just an outsider perspective. Bowling is very unique, just because so many different players have different styles and how they throw the ball, and it's just always really cool to kind of see that. So there's always something interesting, and in, even in the lesser inter, even in the, in the lesser entertaining games, there's still like cool little elements to it. Uh, have, now I haven't done league since uh, 2019. Um, really, it all kind of spiraled and fell apart when, because uh, the last thing I did was uh, April, late April of 2019. I did like a like a, a local tournament. And I remember that very well because dad was, this was about a week and a half before, like, he had his, like, first heart attack. And, like, the week before, he was just having just a hard time just walking and just doing stuff. Like, he really had to force himself to, to go to that. I remember that because it was always, like, you know, he, he did all that, you know, a week before the, like, his heart attack stuff and... And when all that stuff was going on, I just wasn't even thinking about bowling or anything like it. And I really didn't want to bowl with the uh, the people that was on my team the previous year. Just they were all just so much older than me, and they just I didn't have anything in common with them, so I didn't have anything to really talk to them about. So it's just kind of just weird. Not that they were bad people or anything, because they were they were fine. I didn't have any all issues. Right, and just you know, when I was like 24, and they're like. 59, it's just like, you know, what, what do I talk about? Can't talk about YouTube. <laughs> Can't talk about anime. Can't talk about it. Really, I'm just in a whole other world from them. And they're in a whole other world from me. And I really didn't think about bowling. And uh, I especially didn't want to be a part of their, 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 their group anymore because, like, when Dad got out of the hospital in late May, um, that was when like my bowling, the the bowling season had like a finale thing, and you know it had like you know the the, the post party stuff, Cause, like the, the season ended in the second week of April, and then like in late May they had like the trophies and other sort of stuff. And I didn't go to that, but um, the one of the people had uh, that was on my team owned a gas station. And, you know, I, I was told to go there to get the stuff. And I did. And what was really crappy was um, in the league, uh, I was told that I can go there and get free gas. I, uh, so I eventually went up there and I told him about it. And he said, oh, that was just a joke. And it's like, who the fuck jokes about getting free gas? Like, that really is just fucking stupid it's not even a funny joke people would love to get free gas like why would you even joke about that and it's like and it's just it makes it even worse because in that time you know there was so much stress going on with like you know how dad was feeling can we even be like can we be okay financially like in that situation yes ga getting free gas would be fucking awesome Obviously, he didn't know what was going on with my dad, but just, like, you know, it just makes the situation worse. And it's just like, yeah, I don't want to fucking be on a team. It, just, it was just stupid. It's just a stupid fucking joke. That isn't even a joke? I, I don't know. Yeah, we're pulling away. Things are looking good. Even with a late race yellow, we'll be fine, so... I guess the game thinks Logano's going to win today, which is really going to be disappointing, because I don't want him to win at all. And 
and Truex and Brad are just too far back, so... I guess Logano... I guess the game thinks Logano's gonna win, so that's just... really disappointing. Manufactured caution. It might. You never know with this game. It could do something weird. Still there. All right, clear low. That is true, Christopher. That is true. He did win Gateway, and that's kind of a flat-ish track, so... Maybe the game is onto something. I mean, I would hate it. But then the game would be right, so it'd be kind of like at least, at least I could feel good if he does end up winning because it'd be like, okay, the game got it right. I could be happy in that one little regard. But that that's that's it. <laughs> that's it. Where is day five hundred? I've been waiting this whole stream to tell him that Chase is a snowflake and is slow as balls today, and I can't do it. I'll have to do it in his chat. Is he going to get past by Suarez? Him and Suarez have been by each other like the whole race. <laughs> Suarez passed Chase for position? No, he didn't. Okay, well, never mind. Clear all around. Yeah, Logano won. It was, yeah, it was. It wasn't like he was the best star race. It was not really a good race. It was only really saved by Hamlin, Chastain's antics. That was the only thing I saved that race, because everything else was very forgettable. Which is good, because I like to forget about Logano winning, because it's just, you know, it's the worst day in my life. <laughs> it's terrible. Speaking of terrible, Logano has a two-second lead on Bragazowski, and that is about as bad as it could be. They're talking about everybody Ross has ran to. That's going to be a long list. Still two seconds. Nothing's changed. This has been uh, kind of an easy race. I thought, I mean, they kind of gave me a little bit of trouble. But otherwise, it wasn't all that hard. Uh-oh. Logano's losing time. It was 1.7. Now it's 1.5. So something's happening. Something is indeed happening. I don't know what, but I guess lap traffic. Only a 1.1 back with four to go. Go, Brad. Go, Brad. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Like, is that supposed to mean Cinder's going to win? I mean, that's not really that much better. Only a, less than a second back, so something... Something's going on back there, and I don't know what, and I wish I could see it. I'm too far ahead. Stay up against the wall. Stay high. Three to go. All clear. The guy's looking okay at the moment. Take Joey over Cindric. I. 
that's it, both are awful. Do the go brat dance. Now we're up to 1.4. What happened? What's funny is both second and third have won in New Hampshire before. That is true. That is true. What if Brad wins, though? Then the game is going to be amazing, but I don't think that's going to happen as we're going to be heading into the white flag. We're good. I think Logano got around lap traffic, so that's boring. Well, now I'm in a dilemma. Now I have to think Logano's. The game's thinking Logano's going to win. And I don't like that. That's back to two seconds. Shrex is now almost into third, so that's interesting. Well, through three and four, I gotta get my dance on. I, I gotta make sure I get in time with the music. But yeah, we're gonna do it. Urgh! Yeah! That end bit was really good, but the beginning part was bad. But I'm we're getting it down. God damn. God damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Penske, two, third, second, third, fifth. It's a nice, uh, that's a nice little, uh, Penske top five, essentially. Lugano wins his third race of 22. I hate it. I don't, I don't like this. I, I don't like it at all. I was, I was, I was destined to lose because it was either going to be, the game was going to think Centric or Lugano, and I, I don't like that. We'll do our uh, Alan Quickie thing, and then we'll... Well, that was not nearly as awesome, but I don't really got room to do, like, a burnout or, like, a, to try to, like, flip the car. All right. Well, that's simple enough. We'll take a look at the race replay, see if it'll show anything good. Well, the replay is going to freak out for a little bit. Irish made you do <laughs> Well, thank you, Dave. Since you're here, I've been waiting to say this all stream. But Chase was a snowflake in this race. It was in the 20s. And that was glorious. And I wanted you to be here for that because it was really funny. Because <laughs> I thought it was... I just... I thought of you. And I spat all over myself <laughs> trying to say that. <laughs> God. Is it really not going to show the Christopher... Chris... Chris Busher wreck? Funny how you don't like Logano and yet immediately do the donut. Ooh. He started that? No. I thought it was Larson. Oh, I... I don't like it. I like it. I don't like it. Nope. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I hate it. And the game didn't even properly show the freaking Chris Busher flip. Because it goes from stage one to 107. It, it doesn't sh it skipped it did it skip it it did it went from that is some bull honky Logano story well I guess I'll never do that again unless I try to do it while I flip because then that's not Logano because Logano he don't flip when he spins out so I, I'm I am so mad <laughs> Wow. Oh yeah, that's where I, I took the access road because I was so fast. I was so confident that I could do that for two laps and still win. And I did. Because I'm just that freaking good. So I'm just that freaking... Uh, we'll do the full race replay. We'll see if it... Okay, it goes to 92. So we can actually use this replay... 
see uh, when that wreck happens. So I know it was well into stage two. That's a victory lane celebration we need. We need a victory flip. <laughs> yes. We need the car to just like do a like do a blow over into the grass. I would love that. If Logano wins, I'll think I'll thank you with. Well Um God, I hate it. I hate the situation I'm in. I'll only be happy if he wins because the game called it, but I'll also hate it because he won like I it like no one wins. It's a lose lose. Well it's, it's like a lose win, but I don't know. Yeah, this game is weird because when you do the race replay. It doesn't go from lap one. It starts like midway through stage one. I don't know why. It's weird. But at least the replay works. If Carl can flip. If Carl can flip, the car can't. Facts. <laughs> Facts on that one. Five more likes. I agree. Well, don't, don't, nobody leave yet because we got to do the Kurt Busch uh, race win review car thing. So don't leave. After we see this wreck and look at the results, take off overlays. I can't. Like, the, the button, it doesn't, it doesn't work for th whatever reason. I tried. So we got we got to find that wreck because that was so glorious, and I don't know where. I mean, it's definitely in stage two, so definitely before lap one seventy something. At least this works. Like the replay, like you know, skip misses the first eighty laps, but at least when you get to it, it works. Have a great day. I have to work now. Smash that. Well, thank you, thank you for stopping by, Chris, and watching basically the whole time. So I appreciate it for you sticking around. What if hurry? I can't. I'm going as fast as I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa what the? Okay, that was just me getting loose. But I, I, I'm going as fast as I can. I can't go any faster. I don't think a car is flipped. Now let's flip to New Hampshire. Bobby Labonte did in the Bush series in the early 90s. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. <laughs> this is taking a long time. <laughs> I wonder if I can do this. Well, what was that? Okay, it was just. There. Oh, okay. I see. I see Bush up there. Okay, so we're we're getting close to it then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got. It. We got it. Lap one forty. Okay. So. That is amazing. Can we get like a behind look? Yes, yes, this is what. Okay. Once we hit play, we can see it. Okay. Oh, no, my name's in the way. Ah. Let me get a. Maybe if I can get a better. I want the cinematic view. Why, why can I not get the cinema? There we go. That's what I was trying to look for. Okay, now we need the camera to look back. It's not doing it. God damn this game. Well, this is the best we got. Because the game is stupid. So Kyle... No, Ross Chastain launches him. All the way up in the air. I think he cartwheels. But I'm not positive. Cole Custer's on two wheels. Ch yeah, Busher is... He is cartwheeling. He, I can confirm 
He is cartwheeling. Damn, I wish I can... These camera angles are such shit. Just take out the overlay. I can't! I tried! It won't... It won't go! I can't... I can't get rid of him. In the full replay thing, I can't... Press the three... That... That is the three... It doesn't work. I tried. I wish... I would love to get rid of it, but I can't. Okay, well, that's... I need... I need that cinematic shot. Or something. We need something. Because this is too good of an opportunity to not see him cartwheel. Yes. No. That's... Oh, God damn. This game is pissing me off. I saw something in my in, in the car's mirror. Okay, he is indeed cartwheeling. He is flipping. Oh, oh my god, he did get Newman. Well, sort of, but like Oh. Did you see that? Oh, he just got nailed. And okay, that was it, but that is brutal. We finally it took us a while, but we finally got a good camera angle of that wreck. Oh my god. God, that was brutal. Okay. Let's get out of here. Out of this race. We got our victory lane celebration. That's all good in the hood. We got the fastest lap of the 28.8. We definitely led the most laps. 193. And who uh, who gained spots? You no, know, that was me. Chase losing the most spots because that would be kind of... Well, it was probably Harvick. Yeah. Yeah, he started first and got to fourth. So, the game thinks Logano's going to win. Brad. Uh, then we got Truex. Eric Jones, seventh. Damn. Kirk got 13th. That's a Chris Busher after flipping gets four, uh, 12th. We only had 14 on the lead lap. Chase 22nd. Ty Dillon outran Chase Elliott. <laughs> oh my god. And that's the rest. So Harvick, Balicki are the only two that are out of the race. How long did that race take? Uh, two hours and 24 minutes. Minus the 20 minutes it took for me to restart the stream after disconnecting. But now that we got that out of the way, we can uh, now do the uh, Kirk Bush race review car thing. Kind of just kind of look at it. So get the face cam in full here. And then get the car. It's just, it's just right over, over there. <laughs> I do want to say thank you for the 50 likes in the in the in the stream. I do appreciate it because without you doing this for in the stream, uh, we would not be doing this right now. So yeah, so thank you. We will do that. We will do this. So actually, no. We need. To, I need to show you the packaging. There, there's something funny about it before I start and everything else. So this is the box that came in. It's a standard box, though. There is one really cool thing about it. Is that all right? I'm not. I don't want to dox myself. But it's uh, Lionel Racing. It's like it's a, like its own like signature box thing. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So didn't expect that, but yeah, that's neat. Like it's in its own like packaging thing. So that's that's neat. Wanted Nico Robin. Well, she is all over my room. We got this. <laughs> I want. I don't want to cry on mm -hmm. stream. Oh, but then we got the other one, like right beside it. It's like, ah, oh! oh, I don't want to cry. 
clean shaven, you're looking 18 again. Damn, thank you, JC. I didn't think I looked, I don't think I looked that young anymore. Well, thank you. So, oh yeah, the packaging. So, so far, it's a standard box. I think I doxed myself because that thing came up, so. But, we got a gigantic issue with this. Not the box, but like the, the, the you're not gonna, it's so So we have like uh, Gear Wrench Atlanta Wind Standard. It has like the barcode and stuff. So like, okay, that's like standard. But look at this. Look. Kyle Bush. They can't even put the race winner name on here. What is this? Why does it say Kyle Bush? Huh? How do you mess that up? How does that? How does that get through? Heck, that is some, I didn't see this till after the fact because I was just so excited to open it. Something fell. Oh, so, so yeah. This, that's bad. How do you fuck that up? Why does it say Kyle Busch? He did not win at Atlanta. It was Kurt. Did they, I guess they, I don't understand how they fucked that up. But that was, uh, that's a monumental one. I don't know how that got through. That is so bad. So I don't understand that. Because everything else, like packaging wise, it looks good. But Kyle Bush did not win. I guess they really wanted Kyle to win. I don't understand. Wrong, bro. So, after all that, we get this. It's it's packaged extremely well. I will say that, despite that dumb error, everything is packaged really well. Well, this is the least here. I know. I noticed it after the fact. I was like, wow. But this is what it looks like. I like it. Packaging is fantastic. It looks beautiful. I had, it's in the Elite box. It is... Okay, here it is. So, it's Kurt Busch. It's, like, blurry. I don't know how to fix that. How can I get that in focus? I'll read it, because apparently it does not want to focus, but... It says, Kurt Busch, number one gear wrench Atlanta win, 2021 Camaro ZL1 Elite, one of 423. So I guess only 423 of these were made, which is pretty sweet. I guess that's how many people got these, because I don't know. But yeah, and it's standard finish. There is a problem with it. I, uh, I messed up opening it, because I didn't know how to open it. <laughs> I thought I had to open it this way. So I was peeling it, and I was thinking to myself, like... You know, why is this not opening right? And I, was, I was peeling and I was seeing like tape. I was like, oh shit, this is not meant to be open. So I damaged the box. And that pisses me off. So I am I may have to put tape in between here just so like the, the thing here sticks. But that quite bugs me. Because I didn't know it's supposed to open this way. So that is a rookie mistake on my part. Because I do not buy these at all. So that is my fault. So we got this here, get rid of that. Get the car out of here. And there's a couple of things in here. Kind of uh, typical stuff from what I've seen in Wind Vows, like uh, unboxing. Like stuff in the past. So a lot of the stuff isn't new to me though. We get the, uh, the playoff sticker, which is cool. I like that. Um, we got like, Basically, them promoting their, like, build your garage. Your, yeah, virtual garage, which I'm not going to do. We got two stickers, or two, uh, two pieces of paper here. Uh, we got the Elite Certificate of Authenticity. This certificate that the enclosed 124 scale standard finish die cast is authentic RCAA Elite replica. This Elite Collector Series is issued strictly a limited edition. So this is what it looks like. It's nice looking. We got the race stat stuff, which I've seen using uh, other stuff before. So we got Kurt Busch, uh, Quaker State 400 winner, Hampton, Georgia. 
uh, July 11, 2021. And then on the back, it's got some race stats. Um, time of race was 2 hours, 50 minutes, and 8 seconds. Start position, he started 8th. He led, or total laps was 280. Uh, he led by, uh, he led 144 laps. Number of cautions was 4 for 21 laps. Margin of victory was 1.2 seconds. So, that's cool. I like, I always like these, like, race stat information things. And the way they're placed inside the package is inside, like, this plastic here. You could put the paper, like, paper, like, on top or on the bottom. So that's really cool and convenient because I don't want these getting damaged. So that is a really, really good uh, place to put them. And when I got them, uh, when I got this, the, uh, this paper and the playoff thing were on the bottom. So, no, it wasn't. It was just a... Back up on top. There we go. Playoff sticker goes on the bottom. But obviously, we all want to see what the car looks like. And I will say, this is fucking awesome. I've always been skeptical of, of uh, Lionel because I've heard bad things about him. But at least in terms of the race wins stuff, and they get that right. At least as far as I know. So we'll get... Well, I guess we can see the outside of the box more, so... Obviously, it says like 21 and kind of the typical stuff here. Nice microwave. Thank you, JC. So here's what the car looks like. I want to make sure. So this is what it looks like. I haven't taken it out of the, 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 the plastic case thing. But this is what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous looking. From all the just little tiny details like the, the, the rubber on the front of the car, uh, the confetti, it looks unbelievable. I I am usually not like a die cast buyer, so like this was a very, very rare circumstance because I never thought in my wildest dreams I would see Kurt win this car. But there is so much nice little details from like the tire scuffs, the tire marks, like the, even the tire wear, like that they're worn. Like it is very nicely done. And the roof flaps do come out. They do deploy. So that's neat. The wheels are movable. That's cool. The window net, uh, it's like leather, which is really nice. They at least make the car look good. <laughs> I was skeptical, but it looks pretty good. The hood comes up, the deck lid comes up as well. Since it's so new, it's kind of hard to, to move it, but the deck lid does open. It's hard to get the lighting. But yeah, got the deck lid opens. The hood opens, though it is really hard to open. So, I don't know how I'm going to open it again. <laughs> it's really tough to open. I actually had to use like a, like a pencil to do it before. And I hate to do that. But it's like, it's the only way I can even like, open it. I don't know how to open it. <laughs> um, I got like a bread tie thing. Maybe that'll do something. No, that's too thick. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, we got something here. We got something here. We're, it, it opened up a tiny bit. Oh, <laughs> I almost dropped it. I'm going to... Trying to make sure you can see this magical moment. Trying to open up with a bread tie. God damn it. I can't open it. I can't. Why? How do they open it in real life? Well, I guess they don't use a bread tie. Damn it. I don't want to damage the thing. I got I can't. 
This is this is the issue I was having before. It's like I guess I can shake it, but I know it opens. Um. Uh. Maybe a credit card? Oh, it's not a credit card, but it's like a membership card. Will that open it up? Will that open it up? Please. Yes. Yes! We got it! No, I closed it again! Ah, yes! Just use a piece of paper. No, it's too easy! I'm gonna get a paper cut if I do. Dude, just flip it. I tried that. It didn't work. I would have. I, that's like the first thing I did when I opened it, but I couldn't do. I spinning all. Of, I'm getting excited. But yeah, it's like even the, the there's detail in here too. It's just like so articulate. Well, I I don't know if it's articulate. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm just I love it. I love this so much. It took a fucking year for it to come in, but it came in. Uh, the deck lid number, I know Windgall talks about that. I don't know what that really means, but... Uh, the inside, it's kind of hard to see with, like, all the confetti. But it's number, like, 203. Or 213, my bad. So. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it does come with, like, screws to unscrew the, the, uh, the back of it. Actually, uh, it's actually taped on here. I just haven't taken it off yet. Cause it comes with these like uh, things here. You can so I'll I'll probably do it at some point. But yeah, I just haven't taken out of it yet because I'm just uh, I'm just scared. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't taken it out. Monster V8. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice looking car. I'm very very happy with it. I'm very thankful. It came in. Uh, other than the, the spelling error, everything looks good. Um, the wheels move like it's very. You can even see like the. I don't know if you can see it through this, but with the uh, there's like mechanical stuff inside here. So when you move the the wheel, you can see it in there. Like it's all. It's very nice. I I, I don't know. I I'll have to find out if I can even attempt. To pre-order uh, the the current Kansas win car, but I'll have to see. But in terms of the quality, it's unbelievable. Like I am genuinely. Is that the right way to put it on? I think it is. I'm genuinely impressed. Oh yeah, there's an arrow saying, "Put this on the left side." So yeah, I'm genuinely impressed with how this all looks. I could not be happier to have this because I always wanted the Kirk to win this car and I just didn't think it would be possible. And he got a win in it. And I, I never imagined that happening. Kurt is really the only person I will buy race win cars. Like, 100% fact. So let me just package this up again. Then put that thing on there. It'll be good goes on this side. I didn't know what to do with this, because or this little part here, because this comes off of this is supposed to be. Yeah. Either, either way, that's the car. I don't know if I can even show it, because I don't know if my webcam goes that far, but it goes all the way over here by my fridge. I'll try to move my face cam. I don't know if I can move it. I don't know if my computer can go that far. Eh. But it'll... Well, wait, hold on. Oh, it's... Oh, wait, no, okay, that's as far as it goes. Okay. So it goes right over there. That's where it's going. Hi, Robin. Hi, Garbage. But that's where it, uh, it, uh, it goes over, right over there on top of the, the bookshelf. So that is... Ow! I banged, my, I banged you off the, like the thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's where it goes. I think that's a decent... There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. So, yeah. I just got to put some tape on here to... to <laughs> that just fell off. But, yeah, I want I need to put some uh, tape here just to close this off because I messed up opening it because I'm stupid. 
There's fingerprints on here, so that's going to bug me. But either way, packaging, car looks fantastic. I'm afraid to even take it out of its packaging because I don't want the car to get dusty. <laughs> but yeah, that'll do it for me in the stream. Thank you for my 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 uh, slapdash, gross, awful race review. That took me like two minutes to open up the freaking hood. And I literally used, I fr tried to use a, a bread tie for it. What if? You can unscrew the plate. I know I can unscrew the plate. But I don't want to. At least not yet. I'm so hungry. It comes right off. I'm aware. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to put this back over there. Wrap up the stream. going to get something to eat because I'm freaking hungry. I've not had anything to eat since... Uh... 18 hours ago. Keep it in the box. You're damn right. But yeah. Oh, I guess that's it. I don't know what more to talk about, but thank you for stopping by in the stream, um, as usual. Still can't believe the wrong first name. I, I know. I don't understand that. Like, I guess I kind of do. At least they, at least it wasn't a completely different driver's name, but it's like, how, it's just weird. I don't, like, I can't, there's no excusing it. But I do want it as usual. But if you keep it in the box, how can you see the car? I, JC, I can't. I like it to be in good condition. That's, I guess that's just the me thing. I don't know. How can you see the car? Well, I could, I could see it right there. And that alone makes me happy. I'm like trying to... Chug's body up. Wait, what was the name? Oh, it, on the... On the... <laughs> Uh, the box inside the box inside the box because we got the, the shipping box this box and then this so this is the box with this is the second layer they uh on the name they they put kyle bush instead of kurt bush and that's just stupid <laughs> like how do you mess that up but yeah but, uh, yeah either way full box mess <laughs> you let maybe do that because like I like I like it like this. GC got a problem. Look at my other cars. They're they're well some of them are from front fan mail, some of them aren't. Well, actually they all are from fan mail, but look at that. See that Biffle car? I, well that car over there, I that's like uh, a family member gave it to me. And it wasn't in the box, so that's what I was left with. So I had no choice but to leave it like that, but everything else is in its its box. I can't point my finger because I'm not good at it, but they're all there. Well except yeah. Well, then, wait, wait, I'm, well, I guess I'm contradicting myself, because how come I have the cars in the box, but the figures aren't? Maybe it's because you can still see the cars in the box, so, like, I guess that may justifies it. Maybe that does, I don't know. But... Yeah. Well, um, I don't know, but I'm going to wrap it up. But before I do, thank you, everybody, for tuning into the stream. Uh, people that did, like, super chat and donations throughout the stream, I do appreciate it. We'll start off with the box to have way more to hide now. I think so. Actually, that old guy car, you can actually see a lot more of that versus the... No, well, it's about the same. Ow. I don't know. I, I need to get the measurement tape out and, like, measure the dimensions and how much you can see versus other ones and, and compare and contrast, but I can't... I, I, I want to eat! I'm freaking hungry. I want to wrap the street. I did it back. But thank you, Jay Z, for the dollar. Devin Clark for being a member for seven months. Uh, Epileptic Bone B with the two dollars. Akbar with the four ninety nine. Scott McNew with the five. Uh, Outback or Outlaw? <laughs> I guess I'm hungry. <laughs> Outlaw BBK with the three. He also became a member as well right after that. So thank you, and Jay Z with the dollar. So yeah, thank you everybody for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for being a part of this journey of watching me review this and struggle with basic things. But I guess that's why you love me. I don't know. But 
I will see you all in the race review probably Monday. Unless something absolutely crazy happens in New Hampshire that I have to make the video come out faster. But I don't know. But that'll do it for me. I will see you all in another stream.